Hey you guys, it is another late night live video. Don't mind the uh, TV going on in the background. So um, it has been a busy day. I wanted to jump on here really quick. Today is day seven of my live video challenge. Um, and I wanna talk today just about things that happened to me today. And it really got me thinking. So uh, if you guys saw my post from earlier year, I started off my day at the DMV today, and I just have to tell you guys what happened. So um, so this morning, I had some time to kill before the DMV opens up, and so I decide to stop at Sprouts, which is like my main like grocery store, and grab a coffee and some breakfast, and uh, so I go and I do that, and I pull into the DMV, and there is a line like around the building no joke and i'm like oh man and i'm like all right so i'm like all right do i sit here and drink my coffee or do i just uh bite the bullet and get in line so oh i want to back up so when i go to the grocery store to get my coffee and my breakfast um the cashier ends up giving me my coffee for free and I'm like, awesome. That that was like a great way to start my day, right? Free coffee, like gearing up to go to the DMV. I know it's probably gonna take a while, but it is what it is, right? So anyway, so I get back to the DMV and I park, found an awesome parking spot. And I decided that I'm just gonna bite the bullet and go get in line in, in the DMV. And clearly you guys, people had been there for like hours. Like there was there was people lined up around the building or not all the way around the building but almost and they had like lawn chairs and they were like hanging out waiting for the dmv to open so when i got there it was about 15 minutes before it start before it opened and so i'm like all right i'll just go get in line and so i'm kind of dreading walking to the back and as i walk up to the line um there was like this group of I don't know, maybe six people who had decided that they were going to start their own line and kind of skip everybody else who had been there for whoever, how knows, <laughs> I don't know how long. And so, um, so I walk up and I kind of see this group of people and the thought crossed my mind, I'm not going to lie, to join the skipper line. And so I like I had this moment where I was like, all right, maybe I'll just uh, scoot in here and skip everybody else like these guys are doing. And then I was like, nope, I would not want somebody to do that to me. So I decide that I'm going to walk to the back of the line, like back of the line and just kind of stand there like a good person and not get in the skipper line. So. Anyway, I'm standing there and I'm watching and um, there's more and more people that are walking up and they they get into the skipper line. And so I'm like, you know, that's just rude. Like if I were those people sitting in the lawn chairs and like who had been here for a few hours, I would be really, really irritated with that. So whatever. So I'm like, you know, not feeling great about having to wait in line, but I'm also feeling good about my decision to do the right thing. And um, here's what's so funny about it. So I'm just kind of people watching at this point and I'm drinking my free coffee and I'm just kind of like, well, you know, whatever it is, it is. And um, obviously, if you guys have ever been in the DMV, you know that it makes people cranky. Like seriously, like I don't know what it is about the DMV, if it's the waiting or what, but people get cranky. And so I have just decided that however long I have to wait today, I'm just going to enjoy my free coffee and it is what it is. I'm not in a hurry, right? Again, one of the many benefits of being able to work from home. So uh, I'm standing in line for maybe, maybe a couple minutes and um, this guy from the DMV, so now it's, it's almost time for the DMV to open up, he comes out and he says, 
basically, is there anybody there just for like registration purposes? And I wasn't there specifically for that, but it kind of had something to do with that. And so I wasn't quite sure if that applied to me. So I decided to lose my place in line and go and uh, go up to the guy and kind of ask him if that was true. And he's like, yes, go inside. So what ends up happening, you guys, and I just, I got such a good laugh out of this, is that um, there was maybe like seven or eight of us that were there for like registration purposes, right? So those people, including myself, got to skip the skipper line. And so, <laughs> so we go inside and we're standing there and we're kind of waiting um, to go up to like the front desk person who gives you the number. And as I'm standing there, I'm, I'm noticing that the guy that came out and kind of uh, brought the people for registration in was the guy that was behind the desk. And he was like, I mean, they had just opened and he was already like having a bad day. I mean, he was cranky. He was in a bad mood. He was snapping at people. And he was actually training um, a new person. So there was <laughs> this poor lady who was sitting next to him like trying to learn from him, but he just kept snapping at her and he was like snapping at the people that were coming up to him. So I'm standing there and I'm kind of like, oh man, I don't really want to deal with that guy. And then I look over and I see uh, the same lady that I had last time who was like awesome. She is the nicest person ever. Um, in the history of DMV people and I mean she really really helped me out last time I was there and so I'm like oh my gosh I really really hope that I get her right so anyway so the few people that are in front of me kind of you know go through the line and it looks like I'm gonna end up with the cranky guy and so what ends up happening was at the very last second um, the people who were in the cranky guys line ended up asking him an extra question. And so I got the awesome lady. So I go over to her and um, I like explain what I need. And she like, rather than giving me a number to go and like wait to go to a different window, she literally like gives me what I need right there on the spot, which she wasn't supposed to do. And so I was just like, wow, this <laughs> free coffee, skip the skipper line, and I like am getting what I need right away. And so I made a point before I left to just thank that lady for being so nice, for being in such a good mood. And I just told her, like, I really hope that she has an amazing day. And thank you for for being so nice and for um, for helping me out. And she had this big smile on her face. And that was kind of my experience at the DMV. Like last time I was there, I was like a new record. I was in and out in 10 minutes. Today it was 15 minutes, which is like, I feel another record. Um, so I leave, right? And um, yeah. just kind of go about my day. Well, so it has been busy busy, busy today, which is why I'm jumping on here so late. But Ray and I um, just went to Chili's for dinner and we just got home and uh, our server is like above and beyond nice. I mean, like giving us bonus everything. And um, it was just like the best dinner experience that we've ever had. It was so great. The guy was awesome. We gave him a huge tip. Um, but it got me thinking that, you know, this sort of thing happens to me a lot. It's like, um, like everywhere I go, people just kind of like are nice. They, they, you know, I have good experiences for the most part. And, um, what I was thinking about is what you put out into the world is what you get back, right? So tonight, that super awesome server at Chili's, he went above and beyond for us because we were above and beyond nice to him. And I can guarantee you, you guys, I used to be a waitress and people can be 
jerks, and I'm sure at the DMV they deal with jerks all the time, and um, any sort of like service industry like that. But when you are nice to people and you put love out into the world, it comes back at you in the most amazing ways. And it's so true. Everything that we do, even if we don't say a word, it's just like your way of being. What you put out is what you attract back. And so um, I just wanted to share today some examples of that because I'm just so grateful for all of these like things. I mean, they made me smile all day long. And um, so I just want to say if you are having a bad day, um, try to try to change that. I guess the your way of being um, as hard as it may be. And just try to, to flip that around because it really, really can make a difference in your life, but also in somebody else's life. So what you put out into the world is what you get back, 100%. It's, it's an energy thing, um, and not to get too deep into that, but it's, it's totally true. If you put good out into the world, you get good things coming back at you. So anyway, that was my day today. Um, I hope you guys had an awesome day today, and I will see you tomorrow. Take care.